Hi, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. We just finished a very exciting second leg of the expedition, and here are the highlights. We spent a total of 10 days in the southeast Aegean Sea, off the coast of Bodrum and Canidos, Turkey. In these areas, we used our side scan sonar towfish, Diana, to find potential shipwreck targets on the sea floor. We were able to send our ROVs Hercules and Argus to dive on a selection of them to get a closer look. And during our 10 days in this area of the Aegean Sea, we managed to find a total of 11 new shipwrecks. That's an average of one new shipwreck per day. And one standout wreck was the Greek merchant ship, the Dodecanesos. While we were diving on it, one of our website viewers, George from Greece, was able to identify the ship in Greek historical records and wrote in to tell us about it. It sank in 1958 during a gale. We also found 10 ancient wrecks, Canidos K through Canidos T. Some of the wrecks were heavily damaged by trawl nets from fishermen, and others had unusual amphora that excited the archaeologists on board. We found some flat-bottomed round amphora at Canidos N, and at Canidos O, we found some pots and tiles with detailing on them. Canidos Q had amphora with four handles instead of the usual two. Also on this leg, we came across some interesting biology. This adorable juvenile fish was at one wreck site. We also caught a tiny octopus eating a shrimp and a beautiful John Dory fish. Less cute and more eerie was the whale skeleton that we found on the seafloor, which was also very cool. Overall, this was a productive leg. We managed to complete all planned side scan sonar operations and dive on many targets of interest off the coast of Turkey. Again, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control. Stay tuned at NautilusLive.org as we begin leg three of the expedition off the coast of Santorini, Greece.